Well, according to the Washington Post, a national poll shows religious membership is below majority for the first time ever. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller spoke with local churches about where their membership numbers are. A Gallup poll measuring the number of Americans who consider themselves part of a religious organization shows a downward trend nationally. We spoke with churches who say that's not the case locally. Joey Olivier is the director of operations for New City Church in Macon. He says they've had a steady increase in partnerships over the last 18 months, but says the growth has been slower in that time frame compared to previous years. Olivier says he's not surprised religious memberships are down across the nation. I believe our culture is, is pushing against that. Uh, we see a lot more of a consumeristic um, expectation in people, and when it's less convenient to go to church, then it's easy to um, not be a part of a church. New City Church partners with 20 different local organizations and groups in the community. According to Olivier, the national downward trend of religious memberships could be a crisis for local communities. If less and less people are going to church, the churches in general will be less and less able to help the community. In fact, churches continue to die at an alarming pace and uh, from what we read, that trend may only accelerate in the years to come. Senior pastor for the Community Church of God, Jason McClendon, says they've had a steady increase in people joining the church, too. McClendon says he advises at-risk members to stay home due to COVID, but has noticed participation outside of church on Sunday increase during the pandemic. I know a lot of us are partnering in the community, so I believe there's been a big kingdom impact, and I believe that's the seismic shift that God is doing anyway. He's trying to get people to do things outside the walls of the church. Pastor McClendon says he believes religion plays a part in our development and helps our social circles. He understands people have questions about what's happening in the world, but believes God speaks to everybody's heart and asks people who are struggling with their religious identity to pray. I would try to find a place that you feel comfortable, a place where the word is preached, a place where you can ask questions, and also a place where you could see yourself actually growing together with others. In Macon, Ariel Scheller, 41 NBC News. Well, the Easter this weekend, the pastors expect a large turnout. Both churches are having Easter services that will follow CDC guidelines.